Hello, everybody, and welcome to Studio Tech 411, your questions, expert answers, uh, the December webinar provided by Music Teachers National Association. I am Shanna Kirk, and uh, my colleagues, George Litterst and Stella Sick, are joining us, uh, joining me and, uh, and MTNA for this uh, exciting and fun uh, workshop that we've put together. Uh, we've been so excited to get all of your questions. We got so many, we had to uh, sort through and, um, and pick the ones that were asked most frequently. So we hope that you find all of these answers useful and, um, and we hope that you will um, continue to uh, give us questions in the chat box and we'll answer them as much as we can. Um, George, would you like to start? Oh, and by the way, we did have a little subtitle there, Stump the Chumps. Um, we, some of us tried really hard to, to, to give us good, hard questions, and we definitely appreciated that. Uh, George, could you get us started a little bit with an overview of um, our studio technology? Absolutely. And, you know, we've had to um, really stay on our game here in order to be able to answer these questions. And it's probably not a bad idea if we uh, get a little caffeine going here. So, um, Stella, this is for you. Oh, thank you. And mm. Shanna, one for you. Oh, how nice of you, George. How did you know? And one little one for me to get started. Okay, well, we've got some questions to answer. We thought we'd start off by at least um, mentioning some of the things that we do in our own studios. Um, for myself, there's a lot of technology in my studio that I've been using for such a long time, I don't really even think of it as technology anymore. But uh, for starters, I have at the, at the nucleus of my studio a technology-equipped piano. And that's simply a piano that's got MIDI capability on it and enables me to connect to an iPad or a computer and do all sorts of interactive things. And I am uh, here in my studio in Denver. Uh, George is in Massachusetts. And um, I also have a technology-equipped piano or three in, in the studio here. Um, I really depend on my um, laptop and desktop computers. And you can see my distance learning setup over here that includes cameras and special lights. Um, Stella, tell us a little about your studio. Um, I am currently not in my studio. I am in my office, so you will not see the technology equipped to piano behind me as you had with my colleagues. However, I do own one. Uh, it's a disc clavier. I use it in that capacity daily as a performer and as a teacher. I also create a lot of educational materials for my beginner piano class. Uh, if any of you watched any of Mario stuff, it's really, really convenient to do that. Um, some of the things that I all often use is I, is I record my students with my phone just you know, to give them an idea, and so I use this little gadget, which holds the phone in one place. So that's one of my favorite ones that I always have around in my purse. Excellent. Well, I think we better get launched into our questions. Um, and I think uh, George is going to answer our first question. Um, we have changed the names of the questioners to protect the identities of the guilty. So we started off by getting a question from uh, Virginia. Uh, Shanna, do you have me pinned on the screen there? Oh, uh, I will do that, yes. There you go. And Virginia has a, a pretty interesting question. In fact, um, my colleagues here, Shannon and Stella, whom you may find a little difficult to figure out sometimes who is who, one thing they were um, convinced about, they were both wanted to give me this question because the fear was if the answer was a no, it would feel like the stump, the chump had been stumped right here from the start. Uh, and it was a kind of a tricky question. Uh, for those who have an iPad app that uses the internal microphone, like Piano Maestro, Sight Reading Factory, or Note Rush, uh, to listen to what's being played, uh, what's going to happen if the students are trying to use the app with headphones? because once you've plugged in headphones, um, the microphone is normally not going to be um, used. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, in this case of this teacher, uh, the teacher has got students working in a lab and she wants everything to be quiet. Uh, so you can't have sound in the air going into a microphone. So what are you going to do about that? And I did 